The first big change that we had with our staffing is that half of the crews work at home doing teleworking and we actually gave them copies of maintenance manuals, performance standards, and operation plans, the written documents that we base their day-to-day -day work on, and we prepared tests for them to take. And so while they're at home, they're reviewing those materials and completing the tests so that we can be productive when we're trying to say, stay safe and keep our employees spread out so we don't have a lot of um, close contact. The crews that do stay and work, to the extent that they can do core maintenance, they are doing core maintenance. That's patching paved roads, grading and stabilizing gravel roads, ditching along roads, and mowing. And we think those four activities are core to our maintenance program to maintain our state roads in a cost-effective and safe manner for our public. In addition to these four traditional core activities that we do, uh, that we plan and schedule for every road in every county, this year we focused on tree trimming uh, to keep the shaded areas to open those up. And so on a limited basis from November 15th to March 31st each year, we're permitted to trim the tree canopy and removing trees that could be impact threats. Um, for the, across the state, we're permitted to trim up to 140 acres um, of trees along the road that could be causing shade. And the problem with shady spots on a road is they stay moister and the moisture decreases the strength of the road materials. And so they are, they are impacted even more by the regular ve vehicular traffic that we have. So our county maintenance crews identify the locations in their county uh, that they would request that they be able to trim the tree canopy. We aren't going to be able to do that every year if we have a normal or a harsh winter, but this year the, the crews weren't plowing snow all the time, so we did focus on additional canopy clearing this year. Um, normally, for our core maintenance, the patching, ditching, grading, and mowing, uh, normally we do that work beginning in April and have to cut off in mid-November or so when it starts to snow, but this year again with the mild winter, a lot of crews, a lot of counties ditched throughout the winter and asphalt plants started opening in mid-March and so I think across the state we've had crews out there doing pothole patching beginning in mid-March as soon as they could get the appropriate materials to do their permanent repairs. We would rather have them do that when possible rather than doing a temporary repair that we have to come back and do the permanent repair at a later date. A good public servant, you know, every day I look and I see that the hardworking people are paying taxes and I'm a steward of that tax money. So, you know, I treat it as if it was my own money and I want it spent in the best way possible. So I try and influence as many people as I can and get us to spend that money in, uh, in the best way. I, I value every dollar we have and we do our best every day to try and, and spend it the, in the most efficient manner.